Welcome back. Still tuned into First Trades. Uh, 12,038 on the market. So uh, it's quietened down quite significantly. The broader end of the market isn't quite holding out. ONGC, Tata Motors, IOC and BPCL are some of the key drags as Kotak Bank, Indescent as well as Bajaj Auto and Yes Bank are in the green. Well, let's get a move on then and focus in on uh, Capri Global. They're here to talk about what they're expecting from the budget, the overall rural and consumptions, uh, whether or not we are seeing uh, or expecting a boost as well as the growth outlook for FY20. Rajesh Sharma is the Managing Director who's joining us right here in our studios. Thank you so much for taking time out. To begin with, let's start off with the backdrop that we're looking at. Um, there has been that marked slowdown in consumption. You know, everyone's talking about a lift in sentiment. What is it that you're expecting from the budget in light of where we stand? I think uh, what government is required to do is to boost the consumption by spending. And more particularly in the areas where it has a more uh, multiplier effect, which is uh, semi-urban and rural uh, sector. And besides that, uh, to leave uh, the more cash in the hands of consumer if their personal tax rates can be reduced and lower that will also is spur the consumption i believe uh, to achieve the our prime minister vision to achieve the five trillion economy a consumption boost is important is equally important is to revive the private investment led growth so oh. Um, you know, the government's also looking at TARP-like mechanisms for NBFCs, HFCs to help them revive. Do you think uh, there could be possible benefits uh, or do you also see negatives of using this? My personal belief is that uh, NBFC sector which were struggling to get the liquidity, liquidity has come back. Banks in last six months has uh, opened the lines for all the uh, those NBFC and housing finance company which have a major focus on the retail lending side. So, uh, if we see, uh, are there any specific and uh, greater challenges in the asset quality with the NBFC and housing finance company? Uh, I don't think that we need this kind of a measure. If liquidity uh, remain in the system and banks remain open and they have seen that there is no major surprises in most of the NBFCs. So, I think uh, liquidity coming back, this measure may not be required. What is required, how they can get the funding, how the bond market can be revived, where even NBFC housing finance company can also access there, how uh, rating companies can take, take a little relaxed view sure. instead of a very stringent view on the rating side, which can reduce their cost. Demand side, the loan is, I said uh, repeatedly, that it is intact. So, uh, liquidity coming back, I don't think uh, that NBFC and housing finance sector will need such, such kind of measures. What is required there, how their cost of fund can be lowered. Okay. Um, you know, do you think that, uh, you know, the big debate everyone's having right now is growth over fiscal prudence. You've clearly said you do want the government to, uh, to spend to revive the economy. But what more do you think that they can do to really help to kickstart growth? I think government has a constant on the fiscal side. Uh, so they can do limited on the fiscal mm -hmm. side, but they can do very much on the policy side and the, and the non-fiscal side. So I believe... Uh, like uh, uh, to revive the private investment led growth we need to think and we need to announce uh, and after working out the long term financing model today what is happening in all infrastructure project and other large project banks are not lending more than 10 years now a promoter who puts the money it is very difficult to match the bank repayment from the cash flow within 10 years and that uh, is one of the major reason the bank loans are going for restructuring but banks today are not lending beyond uh, long-term loans. So either we have to come out with the development financial uh, institution again, or you have to work out some mechanism where long-term financing is available, 20-year, 25-year kind of financing. As we see in the overseas market, you can borrow even 30 years money, but which is not happening in India. And that is the major reason that when you start the project, you put 20 or 30 percent equity after five years you put more money and more money in the project to meet your cash flow demand of the towards the repayment you know for the financials as well there is buzz that there will be no further bank capitalization coming in for some of the psu banks how are you reading into this move i think once these merger exercises are are over uh, the banks weaker banks are getting merged with the with the stronger banks and and most of the provisioning at the bank level is already 
happened in their profit and loss account. So, uh, I don't think major surprises will come the losses side and NPA sides. Having said that, they may not require that kind of a capitalization also. I think government uh, will focus, uh, PSU Bank to more focus on improving their um, operating profits. Sure. Uh you know, it seems like it's a given that the government is going to breach their fiscal deficit target. But do you think that's going to challenge, be challenged for growth? Because that is one messaging which I think just about every faction of the economy, including equity markets, are looking out for. As I said, I think the government is constant the fiscal side because of deficit and because of the revenue, uh, the income tax uh, collection also had not been that great this year. Though GST has been improving quarter on quarter. But there are a lot can be done on the policy side, I believe. Okay. Um, getting a move on, uh, there is also a lot of expectation, um, you know, with respect to uh, the real estate sector, the kind of pain that we've seen there. What kind of measures or what kind of a boost are you expecting for the flailing real estate space? So the real estate sector, a lot of money is stuck today, whether be it investor, be it a banker, be it a flat buyer or, or the ultimate consumer. Uh, what is required, one of the measure is, can banks be allowed to give one-time restructuring? That will open a lot of door for stuck projects to get the refinancing back. While government has come out with the stress fund measures of about 25,000 crore rupees and that will address a very limited need looking at the size of entire problem. So if the one-time restructuring can be done and uh, for the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, the middle income group subsidy is coming to end in the March uh, 2020. If that can also be increased for another 3-4 uh, years because there is a lot of demand uh, and a lot of uh, gap in the housing sector. So uh, real estate sector side, I think this one time restructuring is something is, is required to infuse the liquidity. Today, liquidity is completely missing in the sector. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for dropping by, giving thank us you. a sense as to what you're expecting from the budget this time around. All right. And as things stand, we're looking at 12,025 on the index. But let's get a move on. Lots more to discuss.